Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here. Today we're heading to the Lego store to do some Lego shopping. It is January 1st, 2023. That's right. Happy New Year, everybody. You know what? The New Year is always exciting, specifically for Lego releases, because there's over 130 new releases coming out today. Wow, they must be so busy at the Lego store right now stocking the shelves. I'm glad they're doing that because guess what? We're gonna go check out all of those new releases. Now, of course, the best release of the new year is probably the modular building, which is known as the Jazz Club Pizzeria. We already have that there in the city, but there's a bunch of other exciting stuff coming out that I definitely wanna pick up. So yeah, we're heading to the Lego store today. So, blah, blah, yeah, blah. <laughs> so we're heading to the Lego store today to do some Lego store shopping. I am excited, don't worry, I am not grumpy. Woo, let's roll out. Beautiful day out, it's only like negative five. So I got to the mall a bit early. I figured I'd check out the giant Christmas tree at Europa Boulevard. This tree is beautiful. Sunlight coming in, massive Christmas tree, sort of like a European vibe. And look at this, mini golf right down there. What the heck? Beautiful Christmas tree though. I know it's no longer Christmas, but hey, it's definitely worth having a look. So there's that Christmas tree. And we turn this way. So we've got the Santa Maria pirate ship in the world's largest indoor lake. And then over here, we've got Canada's largest Lego store. Now I uh, talked to the manager and they're actually opening early. So I'm here at about nine and they're opening at 10. And normally I think on New Year's day, they open at like 11 or 12. So that's pretty convenient. They've got some wicked sculptures on top of the store. Really cool store layout. All right, everybody, we're at the Lego store. It's time to check everything out. Woo! So there is a promo on right now. It's a Blacktron Cruiser. It's a free gift with purchase. You spend 250 bucks, you're gonna get this here for free. So that is the January 1st promo. I'm gonna see if there's any more. So there's Blacktron in the box. I love the style of packaging. It reminds me of the 90th anniversary packaging, right? And then we also have this right here, which is the Lunar New Year uh, VIP add-on pack. So you spend 65 to get this one here and 250 to get this one here. So originally I thought that there was gonna be the Houses of the World promo. That's what the press kit said when I got that set early to do my review and reveal of it. But apparently that's not it. But you know what? The Blacktron Cruiser, it's not a bad promo as well, definitely worth it. If you pick up the modular building or whatever, then you're gonna get the Blacktron Cruiser. Also, this is just a nice add-on. They seem to always have these VIP poly bags now. So it seems like every time you make a purchase at the Lego store, you get a nice VIP poly bag, which comes with a bunch of cool parts. And there's usually some animals in there. This one here has rabbits. There's ones before with like pigs. So it's not a bad little promo there. All right, everybody, we may as well start right here with some awesome new sets, such as the Great Wave right there. And then also we've got, uh, Back to the Future DeLorean, that's not new, but it's good to see it in stock as always at this Lego store. Uh, there is the foosball table. Oh, there it is. I was looking for this one. There we go. That's the uh, Jazz Club Pizzeria, $299.99, uh, limited one per household. That's of course the Canadian retail price. All the prices that we see in this video here today are gonna be in Canadian dollars. I like this display right here. Hey, I got my Camaro set up as the convertible, I think. I should set up as the hard top, maybe switch up the color. I like how you can like switch up the colors and make it the hard top, the soft top, soft top or convertible. Uh, it's, it'd be nice to switch mine up and I should probably do that. Oh, this is also new as well, the daffodils. Very cool. And this is like the creator uh, expert 18 plus area. They've got the Eiffel Tower in stock there as well. I don't see the office, I don't think. That one they might have, oh, that's friends. They might have a hard time stocking that one. Oh, it looks like the Elvis art is uh, $30 off as well. Regular 150 on for 120 there. Then they got some of the holiday stuff here. Oh no, it's out of season. Home Alone house, Christmas trees and lots of these. They were out of stock for the longest time, like last year, but now they seem to have a lot in stock. Hey, look at this, the Eiffel Tower on display. This giant like podium display. It's a good way to have it there. Technic stuff, there is some new Technic stuff, isn't there? There's the new uh, Bugatti. There we go, I don't know if I'm gonna get that. I think they announced the new Ford on the set this morning. It's a new uh, Technic Ford set. Oh, it actually looks pretty good. And uh, I, I haven't had a detailed look at it yet. I haven't had a chance, but that was released on like New Year's Eve. Also, in addition to that, 
they released a whole bunch of new uh, Speed Champions on their website this morning, I believe, as well. I haven't had a chance to look at them. I've uh, just been busy with stuff, but I'll for sure be getting this new Speed Champions, uh, the Too Fast, Too Furious. It's funny, I came into the store, they're like, what are you going to get today? I'm like, oh, I'm going to get the new Brickheads, and now I guarantee I'm going to spot more stuff that I want to get. Specifically, this Brickhead here, the Tuscan Raider one, looks really good. And then, of course, we've got the new 501st Clone Trooper Battle Pack right here. I already have one of these, but man, I want to get some more because I want to build an army. Well, I want to mix up my army, right? Because you get the heavy troopers, also the 501st officers and the clone specialist. Other new Star Wars stuff in addition to those two, of course, was the uh, Boba Fett's Slave One, which I just, or Boba Fett's Starship, we'll call it that. I just uh, skipped over that one there, but that is the new micro fighter. Then we have the TIE Bomber up top here as well. Pretty sweet set. That's beside the Justifier there and above uh, Moss Eisley. I was looking at my Moss Eisley this morning. Definitely like the most exclusive minifigures out of any set. It's so cool. I just love that set for all the exclusive minifigures. It's crazy. Uh, Ninjago, we've probably got some new stuff as well. Oh, this is like a new style of packaging. Look at that. That's flashy. Zane's Ice Dragon. Look at that. Upgraded packaging. Also, look at this. It's like a... Lego brick, a giant Lego brick, and this is the Creative Ninja brick box. That's different. These temples, some of these smaller ones here, and just the parts in this selection might be good to upgrade our mountain. Looks like we've got some Ninjago stuff on sale right there. And then some of the smaller Ninjago stuff here, uh, which is all new as well. I like that, how the 2023 sets have an updated packaging. So when you look at the shelf, you can sort of tell what's new. That's neat. Also, we got Jay's Titan mech up top here. I wonder if we're gonna get another addition to this here because this came out two years ago and it seems like they're spread out every two years. Like we got Ninjago City, then we got uh, Ninjago City Docks, then Ninjago City Gardens. I think it came out in February, those ones did. So I don't know if we're gonna get a new one of those this year. Maybe, you never know. Oh, here's some new Avatar stuff for the new Avatar movie, The Way of Water, fantastic film. I saw it and Jose and I loved it. I actually have to get another Avatar set. I might be getting some more of these and integrating them into our undersea area. Like I could integrate this into the undersea area. I don't think I'm gonna get it today because I'm nowhere near working that project, but I was actually talking with uh, Simon about it uh, yesterday when we were working together. And I know for sure I'm gonna be upgrading that area and I wanna get some more sets to uh, upgrade it because it's actually gonna be double the size, so yeah. Lots of new stuff here, like this slushy van. I definitely want to pick up the slushy van eventually. I love the look of it. It's awesome. Also, the gaming tournament right here. Pretty cool. We got the recycle truck and also this 4x4 off-roader adventure. Now, there are over 130 new products here in the LEGO store today. Uh, I'm not going to be able to focus on every single one of them in the video, but uh, I'm sure we'll pass over all of them, that's for sure. Lots of new avatar stuff there. The packaging looks awesome. I love it. That's awesome. That's amazing. Oh, look down here. Uh, carrot trucks on sale. I've been meaning to get that one. Uh, 310 pieces on sale for $47.99 from $60. So originally that thing was $60, bucks, which is an insane price if you ask me. But uh, I guess $47.99 makes it a little bit more affordable. It is a nice looking truck. This is sort of in the same realm as uh, the ice cream truck, uh, the new slushy van, and the pizza van we've got before. So those vehicles sort of seem to be in the same sort of theme and line that's working together, which I think is a neat concept that they continue to produce more sets that are sort of continuation in the same sort of uh, design. Also, the friend stuff has a new logo and a new packaging. It's different. And this one here could actually be integrated into a downtown, you know, as a modular building. This is the downtown flower and design store. It actually looks really good. I like the subtleness of the colors. A lot of the older friend stuff was super duper colorful, but the newer friend stuff, not so much. Uh, this one, we have the organic grocery store. The prices on these, 220 bucks, 2,000 pieces. Once again, these are Canadian prices. So they're, uh, I guess they're all right. They come with mini dolls, which isn't too attractive to me, but I know a lot of people collect mini dolls. But uh, I mean, uh, that's, if you're into, into the friend stuff, it's gonna come with mini dolls. Oh, I like the idea of putting the gems as the lights. That's pretty neat. I like the way just these tiles are like that. All the triangular tiles. Like that just looks good. If I could build a modular building out of this set, I don't think I'm going to, <laughs> but we'll see, maybe one day. I mean, I did it with this set, but now you can see what I mean. Very colorful, 
not as colorful, a little more subtle. So I like the new sort of theme that they're going for in the Friends, just a little more toned down, if you will. There's also a uh, skate park, international school, a whole bunch of stuff. Dog rescue center. Oh my gosh, did I miss those little packs over here in the city area? With like the canine training, where is that? <laughs> I wanted to see that. I can't spot it. I'm sure it's here somewhere. The canine training. Oh, there's this one. It comes with the kitty and the little Frenchie bulldog. Oh my gosh, I was trying to find it and there it is. It's the mobile police dog training. That's what I was talking about, the cactus arm guy. It's funny, I was looking at this area. I couldn't find it, couldn't find it. It was right above the slushy truck. I keep mentioning that I'm gonna breeze over things because there's so many new releases it's hard to keep on top of. Some really exciting stuff over here in this department. And I'm not talking about the Friends department. I mean, Dots department. I'm talking about the uh, Marvel department right here. I really like the look of this Quinjet. Definitely gonna pick this one up. It's 130 bucks, 795 pieces in that one there. Iron Man, Black Widow, Captain America, Thor, and also a new Loki minifigure, so I like that. Definitely a good looking set. We also have the new uh, Hulkbuster right here. This is the Hulkbuster, the Battle of Wakanda. And this one looks really good as well, $65, 385 pieces. Uh, you can see the minifigures that you get there. You also get angry. <laughs> Uh, Bruce Banner, which is amazing. You know, he's, no, that's the Hulk. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Down here, we've got the new Max. So there's uh, Hulk. I like the Hulk minifigure in that scale. Pretty cool. Also, there is some other ones like uh, uh, Ghost Rider there. I believe this is a new uh, Thanos one as well. And then up here, we've got the Morbius versus uh, Miles Morales. Nice looking vehicle there that might be nice for Pop Culture Street and a really cool looking minifigure, of course. Oh, and there's Rocket Raccoon down here. So they're sort of spread out. Got to keep an eye out because there's lots of new stuff. You know, you, you breeze over it. You might miss something new. Specifically in the Minecraft department, I might miss it all because I don't collect anything Minecraft. But here it is. Look at the panda. <laughs> Pretty cool build. Uh, the new Harry Potter stuff doesn't come out until, what, March or something like that? Yeah, so nothing in the Harry Potter department this morning. I don't see uh, Diagon Alley, but I see the Hogwarts uh, trains there. Something I don't see on display over here is actually the Hulkbuster or uh, Black Panther, but I'm sure they have them in stock as well. They just had to rearrange the shelf to make room for all of this new stuff, like the Quinjet. Quinjet looks so good. I love how it has a stand, and it matches up with the Guardians of the Galaxy ship which I don't see on display. Maybe that one there is retiring and being replaced by the Quinjet, potentially. Okay, we missed something though. There's new brickheads somewhere. Oh, here they are. I found them. Okay, so we've got the new Lord of the Rings brickheads. That's right, Lord of the Rings is coming back in Lego and I absolutely love that. Uh, so we got Gandalf the Grey and Balrog. That's definitely the star here. I love that, that is amazing. However, these ones come with some awesome uh, printed pieces. We got Arwen and Aragorn. So that's pretty sweet. And then also Frodo and Gollum. <laughs> I mean, you gotta get those, right? I, I do. I mean, I've collected all the pop culture uh, brickheads for so long, and I just think I've gotta continue collecting them. So there's the Tusken Raider, and then also these three right here as well from Lord of the Rings. I can't wait to see what other Lord of the Rings sets we get uh, throughout the year as we continue. And I think this is new as well. Maybe some more Lord of the Rings minifigures though in those sets. I think that would be awesome and very popular. Okay, I didn't see anything in the DC department, but check out this Batman keychain. It reminds me of the 1989 Batman figure that you get in the 1989 Batmobile and the Batwing, because it's got like the rubberized cape. And look at that large logo on the cape and cowl. That is actually a sick keychain. Also, we got Harley Quinn right here. Those are the only two new sets uh, in the DC line dropping here on January 1st. Here in the Disney department, they actually have a pretty cool uh, new set. It's right down here. It's uh, the Moana's Wayfinding Boat. I'm sure Jose would want that one. I, it's not really up my alley, but I think it looks pretty good. And that's right beside the Encanto House. There's a couple new sets here in the three-in-one department as well. There's the White Rabbit. It's the year of the rabbit. Makes sense, right? And then there's also the birdhouse. And then there's a bunch of new stuff here in the Duplo department as well. Uh, yeah, but not really anything that I'm overly interested in, but uh, I mean, maybe eventually. When Millie and Benjamin are the right age to play with that stuff, I'm sure uh, I'll probably be into that, I would imagine. Uh, we got some stuff on the pad wall here. Some white slopes, ooh. 
that would be good for the Christmas village or building like Hoth or something like that. You rarely see slopes on the wall. If those were dark gray or something, I'd be really hyped. Also one by two jumpers in dark tan. Uh, some one by three white plate. Ooh, gold, uh, I call them fancy bricks. It's actually a good part selection there. We got some envelopes up top here. Uh, ooh, uh, you got uh, sand green snot bricks there. But looking a bit sparse, uh, generally they restock the wall on Wednesdays, I think. And it's the New Year holiday, so it's looking a bit sparse for that reason, I would imagine. Another exciting release here today is the CMFs. It's Series 24, and they actually come in the bags, not the boxes. I think that change is happening, though, relatively soon. But you're still going to be able to feel these ones out, which is awesome. And then right beside that, there's the new Mario characters as well. Okay, first things first. Whoops. Going to pick up all the brickheads. That, of course, includes the Tuscan Raider. And while I was there, I grabbed a 501st Battle Pack and the new Speed Champions car, of course. I gotta do it. I gotta get the Avengers Quinjet. Hey, little dude, you wanna see all the Lego Dad got you? You wanna see it? What about you? You guys always got your hands in your mouth. Do you wanna see all the Lego that we got you? You know what? I think I actually did pretty decent. Got a little bit more than I originally anticipated. It's because the lady behind the counter, she was like, are you sure you don't want these? And I was like, you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> so here, let's check out the haul. Okay, so I grabbed that Quinjet and then I was like, ah, oh, should I get this? It was like 35 bucks. Like it's not cheap, that's for sure, for 220 piece vehicle. But you get Morbius and Miles Morales. And I thought that would look really good on Pop Culture Street. So I decided to get one of those. The Quinjet is just awesome. Like I was saying, it matches up with uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy ship, right? Which is just right here. The fact that it's on a stand, where, where am I going to put it? I, I truly don't know. I'm, I'm at loss for words of where I'm going to put it. But this one here definitely looks better than this one. So maybe I just got to off that one, sell that one or part it out or whatever it is. And then have this one take its place. Just sort of makes sense. I got the Speed Champions. Uh, when I build this here and integrate it with the other Speed Champions, which are right there, I'll have to build Dom's Dodge Charger because I have that in Speed Champions as well. And same with the Aston Martin. So I'll build all three of those at once and then we'll update this display here. I'm curious to know if they're going to give us more Fast and the Furious Speed Champions because this came from Too Fast and Furious, which is the second movie, right? Also comes with the Paul Walker minifigure, which is amazing. But they also gave us Dom's Dodge Charger, which is from the first Fast and the Furious movie. Then, of course, we got Balrog and uh, Gandalf, the Grey. Uh, oh, uh, 501st Battle Pack. Just wanted to get another one of those so we can add more of those dudes to our army. Let's see. Got one right there. Took one of those sets, the figures from them. But we'll uh, slowly but surely upgrade our army, I'm sure, over the year. And what else? More Brickheads. I don't know. Looks sort of plain Jane, doesn't it? But, I mean, it's, it's Gollum, so... Is that Smeagol or Gollum? They say Gollum, okay. Mine's Smeagol. <laughs> then we got uh, Aragorn and uh, Arwen. Sort of got all my pop culture brickheads. We got the promo, so that came with it there. I like the pop culture brickheads. They're going to look great on our display. I actually haven't built my Vader and uh, Obi-Wan <laughs> two-pack yet, but those are going to go on our display over here eventually. And when I build those, the reason I haven't built Vader and Obi-Wan is because there's no room on my display. I guess technically there's room for two right there. But when I build the uh, next ones, we're going to build the next uh, riser, which can fit a bunch of brickheads on it. So that's sort of the reason why I haven't built the other one. It's a lame excuse. Believe me, it's a very lame excuse. <laughs> but when we build the next riser, at least we'll have space for those new brickheads there. Oh, you hear my kids? They're not too happy. And then I decided to get six of these. They're limited six per customer. So these are the new uh, Series 24 CMFs. So I decided to get those there. Figured why not. And then uh, there's the one more promo in there as well, which is the Lunar Near one, which comes with the rabbits. So that's what we got. That's my uh, January haul. Of course, I would have got the uh, modular building, but thank you, Land, for sending me the modular building. It's amazing. We already got it integrated here in the city, and I really wanted to get that Quinjet. Was there anything else that I missed that I should have got? Maybe that slush truck. I sort of wanted to get that there. Uh, nothing from the Ninjago area. Maybe the Great Wave. That might look cool. Uh, we could put that on the wall somewhere. Maybe with, like, 
that to make maybe somewhere in this area put the great wave there but i spent 300 and some odd dollars i got the promo and i figured you know what there's going to be more promos in the future so why not wait to get more until that time and then we can just get more promos <laughs> i mean i'm not going to sit down and build all this stuff today anyway i mean some of it will be in my backlog for a few days anyway so I don't really need to rush out and buy absolutely everything if it's not going to get built right away and I don't get promos with it. So it's just my thought process. But got some pretty cool stuff there and I can't wait to uh, build it and integrate it into the uh, Lego room here. Pretty exciting. What a great way to start the new year. Fantastic. I know there's lots of people out there that are probably building uh, maybe the new Star Wars sets like the TIE Bomber and the 501st Battle Pack and the Micro Fighter and all that. And also a lot of people are probably building... Uh, the Jazz Club. So everybody, I hope you had a great day there. Uh, thank you so much for coming on by and enjoying uh, my video or watching my video. Uh, thank you so much for just all the views and everything. I hope you had a great day and a happy new year and have yourselves a fantastic one. I just told you to have a great day three times. So if you don't have a great day, I'm disappointed in you. Farewell. Goodbye. Wow.